So the mailman has come by and finally brought you your new Arduinos. What do you do now? Well, the first thing I would recommend you do is that you verify that they do work. Um, there's nothing more frustrating, especially if you're a newbie, than building a circuit and having it not function and not knowing if it's you, if it's your circuit, if it's your equipment. So I like to try them first. So first things first, very simple, just plug a cable to a phone charger and plug in the micro USB, uh, this is a micro or the mini USB, whatever connection you need. If you don't have these cables, typically you can find them at the dollar store or you can order them at the same time as you order your Arduino. And now you'll see here, see that LED pin right there? or the LED I should say. See it's blinking back and forth. It's actually on for a second, off for a second, on for a second, off for a second. And this is normal. Most, uh, if not all, Arduinos should ship to you with the blink sketch, which is what we see here. On, off, on, off. So that means that this Arduino here probably works, or at least the pin that controls the LED works. Next one here micro USB, plug this one in, this is the DigiSpark, and we'll give it a second here to boot up, and there we go, on, off, on, off, on, off, so on a second, off a second. And so these are working. So now we can go ahead and give positive feedback to the seller, right? Well, not yet before we go along congratulating the seller for not sending us uh, unusable garbage, let's make sure that we can communicate with these devices. The DigiSpark I'll do in another video because we want to start with the basics and so we'll grab this Arduino Uno. Uh, this one specifically the NH Duino Uno but it works for whatever Chinese board you have. So if you take a look at this chip on this board itself, this is the CH340. I was telling you that in the purchasing video. So you need to go install the CH340 drivers. So I'll leave a link in the description below. Just install those drivers and then we're going to see if this thing can be seen by the Arduino IDE. So let's go over to the IDE and see what we should do next. So after going to get your CH340 drivers, uh, and also, if you bought a legitimate Arduino, it should actually just uh, self-install the FTDI drivers. You should go on to the arduino.cc website, the official website, and you go here to Downloads. And down here, the IDE. So you can download it for, you know, Windows or Mac OS or uh, Mac OS X or Linux, whatever you're going to use. And once you install that and open it, you should be greeted with a screen that looks something like this. And what we can do from here is just go up to File, Examples, Basics, Blink. This Blink sketch is actually what's preloaded onto your Arduino from the get go. So LED turns on over here, digital right, LED built in high, turns the LED on, delay, wait for a second, uh, LED built in low, turn the LED off by making the voltage low, then wait for a second. So as you can see here, LED comes on for a second and then off for a second. So we don't know if this thing is actually programmable, right? So let's change the code a little bit here and see if we can get an indication that the LED is working. So let's turn the LED on. Perfect. Let's have it on for half a second. So 500 milliseconds. Going to half that number. Then turn it off. Then wait half a second. And then let's turn it on again. I'm just going to copy all this code. like that. So on, wait half a second, off, wait half a second, on, wait half a second, off. Now we'll make this wait two seconds. 
and I just want to change the code a little bit here so that we could tell that we're the ones who put this code into the Arduino. So you also have to make sure that the Arduino is being recognized on the port. Mine is on COM3. That's already selected. Your board is normal, the Arduino Uno. Programmer, don't have to worry about that for now. And I will go ahead and upload this code. It should function. Uploading, and here we go. Done uploading. So let's go back to the bench and let's see what kind of result we got from that. And so here we are. We just need to plug this back in like we did before. Plug that in and take a look at this LED. See the two quick blinks and then a long delay. One, two, long delay. So now we know that not only is this Arduino uh, functioning, like the it turns on, it boots, right? We also know that we can write to it. Now you can go ahead and try all those examples that you saw with the blink sketch, or you can try writing your own code. So this here is the most exciting part about Arduino, is that now you have everything you need to start experimenting. You don't even need any external components because you can play with this LED that's already built in. Sure, breadboarding is fun, but give this a start. I believe on this board specifically, pin 13 is the LED pin. So I'm gonna take a look here, pull out my quick access box and see if I can just get one of these LEDs flashing. Now remember, um, we already put a resistor on the leg here, so it should work just fine putting the positive into the thir pin 13 here and the ground right beside it. You see there, GND, the ground is right beside it. Let's see if that works. There we go. So right off the bat, we have a blinking LED within minutes of receiving our parcel. I hope this is informative for you, and once again, thanks for watching.